Signs you may have HIV. Hello friends. Welcome back to Mark Medicals. Did you know that, that troublesome symptoms could be due to an HIV infection? What signs show you may be living with HIV? For you to learn better, this video covers the following sections. 1. When do HIV start showing signs? 2. Signs you may have HIV? 3. When you have HIV how do you feel? 4. What if I think I have HIV and I'm scared? 5. How do you know if someone is HIV positive? Before I answer the above questions, listen to this scenario. Ready? Okay. Let's uncover the untold story of Jake's journey in sunny California, where a hidden health secret changed his life forever. Imagine living with a silent intruder for 10 years. Join me as we delve into a tale of mystery, misdiagnosis, and the surprising truth about a common virus we need to talk about. Once upon a time in sunny California, there was a guy named Jake who had been feeling a bit under the weather for a long time. Jake didn't know it, but he had been carrying the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, for a whole 10 years without realizing it. At first, Jake just had some common symptoms like fever, fatigue, and sore throat. He went to the doctor, and they thought it was just a regular flu or some other common illness. They treated him for those symptoms, but Jake's health didn't seem to improve much. Over the years, Jake experienced more symptoms like unexplained weight loss, persistent cough, and frequent infections. The doctors, trying their best to help, thought Jake might have different health issues each time. They didn't suspect that it could be something more serious like HIV. As time went on, Jake's immune system became weaker and weaker because HIV attacks the body's defense system. Eventually, Jake's condition progressed to advanced HIV, which is also known as AIDS, or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. By this point, Jake was facing severe health problems, and it became clear that something more serious than a common illness was affecting him. Jake's story highlights the importance of regular health checkups and being aware of one's own body. If the doctors had considered HIV earlier, they might have been able to provide better treatment and support for Jake. It's a reminder that staying informed about our health and communicating openly with healthcare professionals is crucial for a happier and healthier life. Alright, having that said, let's go on and answer the following questions. Ready? Let's go! When do HIV start showing signs? HIV symptoms can vary between individuals, but the first signs of infection generally appear within the first one to three months. During this time, the virus is moving into the bloodstream and starting to replicate in large numbers. Many people experience severe flu-like symptoms, such as fever, fatigue, swollen lymph glands, and a sore throat, which is called the seroconversion period. However, recognizing the syndrome can be important because the patient is much more infectious during this period. In some cases, there may be no symptoms for years, and HIV can progress in three stages to AIDS. It is important to start treatment as soon as HIV is diagnosed, and antiretroviral drugs need to be taken during all stages of HIV, even if there aren't any noticeable symptoms. Signs you may have HIV. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, which infects and destroys cells of your immune system, making it hard to fight off other diseases. HIV can progress to acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS when it has severely weakened your immune system just like Jake. Symptoms of AIDS can be caused by HIV infection, but many are from illnesses that take advantage of your weakened immune system. Symptoms of HIV can be mild at first, including fever, swollen glands, painful ulcers in the mouth or around the anus or penis, headache, rash, and muscle and joint pain. Other symptoms that may occur after a few years include diarrhea, weight loss, increased number of infections, and infections that are more severe than is typical to AIDS. The only way to know for sure if you have HIV is to get tested. When you have HIV how do you feel? To be honest, most people living with HIV are fine and enjoying life just like you. When someone has HIV, they may not feel sick right away. But over time, they might get symptoms like fever, tiredness, and weight loss. It's important to get tested and treated early. With the right care, people with HIV can live healthy lives. Don't be afraid to talk to a doctor. What if I think I have HIV and I'm scared? 
If you're worried you might have HIV, it's important to get tested. HIV is treatable, and the earlier it's diagnosed, the better. You can talk to a doctor or a counselor about your concerns. They can help you understand the risks and provide support. Remember, many people live long and healthy lives with HIV by getting the right treatment and support. It's okay to feel scared, but seeking help is the first step to feeling better. How do you know if someone is HIV positive? To know if someone is HIV positive, we use a blood test. This test looks for the virus in the blood. If the test shows that the person has HIV, it means they are HIV positive. The test is important because HIV doesn't always show symptoms, so the only way to know for sure is by getting tested. It's important to get tested if someone thinks they might have been exposed to HIV, like through unprotected sex or sharing needles. Testing is confidential, which means the results are private. If someone tests positive for HIV, they can get treatment to stay healthy and protect others. It's important to talk to a doctor or a healthcare provider if there are concerns about HIV. Testing and treatment can help manage the virus and live a healthy life. Conclusion In the early stages, HIV may cause flu-like symptoms such as fever, sore throat, and rash. As the disease progresses, symptoms can include swollen lymph nodes, weight loss, night sweats, and oral thrush. However, some individuals may not experience any symptoms for a long time. It's important to seek medical advice and get tested if you suspect HIV infection, as early diagnosis and treatment are crucial for managing the virus effectively. Bonus: What is the maximum HIV testing window period? The HIV testing maximum window period refers to the time between HIV exposure and when a test can detect HIV in the body. The window period varies depending on the type of HIV test used. Here are the maximum window periods for different types of tests. Antibody tests, these tests can usually detect HIV 23 to 90 days after exposure. Rapid antigen slash antibody test using blood from a finger stick, this test can usually detect HIV 18 to 90 days after exposure. Antigen slash antibody lab test using blood from a vein. This test can usually detect HIV 18 to 45 days after exposure. Nucleic acid test or NAT. This test can usually detect HIV 10 to 33 days after exposure. It's important to note that if an individual gets an HIV test after a potential HIV exposure and the result is negative, they should get tested again after the window period for the specific test they took. In summary, the maximum window period for HIV testing varies depending on the type of test used, ranging from 10 to 90 days after exposure. It's important to consult a healthcare professional for accurate guidance on HIV testing and to understand the specific window period for the test being used.